it's time to string a bale yet again. Um, not that I have anything against net wrap, but we've got a string tie baler. Um, and I have the most trouble with it when it's down to the very left hand side of your screen. Uh, the cylinder is fully extended, and for some reason it's just a bear to get it to inch back slightly. Um, now there's a couple adjustment knobs for hydraulic flow, and I think those are adjusted to be as slow as possible. Once I get it uh, farther across the stretch, it's a nice smooth swing. I'd almost rather have, instead of the hydraulic, maybe a manual swing in on them. Uh, they had a twistable handle. Uh, maybe, you know, let my dexterity of hand rather than the ability to fiddle with the hydraulic lever might make it a bit smoother for that uh, left hand side of the bale. Um, this is a New Holland 845. It's the baler I've known all my life. We've had this thing forever, as long as I can remember. It does well. Um, parts have seemed simple enough. I probably wouldn't ever trade it in unless it absolutely fell apart. I mean, we've had to do a number of little fixes. We've gotten pretty good at putting a bearing on the main drive shaft for the chain. It's actually the outside bearing that's behind the twine box on the uh, left side of your screen. As you guessed, I've been bailing with 1086. Uh, this tractor I picked. We could use the 6610. Uh, but I think we had it a part of the time to put new seals in the steering box. This video is a couple weeks old, sadly. We're not that quick. And there's nothing fancy. I mean, I'll say fancy. It's got all the fanciness of no electronics. The bail monitor is up on your left also. It's kind of a yellow thing. Coming down the side, got some markings. Tell you where you need, when you need to stop. Um, so I could switch between tractors easily, no problem. Something smaller, use a little less horsepower. Now, unfortunately, our smallest tractors, like the 20, 2910, don't have two hydraulic hookups because you need a second one um, for the stringer or to open the door. I mean, those would be fine to round bail with, too. It doesn't take that much horsepower. That way, we round bail with the big tractor because that's at the time that's what we had when we started out. We had the hydro and the 1086. I was raking with the hydro. Up here, we go to string again. I mean, a net wrap would be nice, but the cost of net wrap is... Whew, that's expensive. And a new round baler, holy cow. I don't know what's so expensive. Not that much has changed. And then, like, unlike a fixed... This isn't... This is a moving chamber, so there's constant tension. Fixed chamber balers. All your densities on the outside of the bale and your inside soft. Well, this is pretty even throughout until the very end. Yep, we string, we string. And we're getting ready to pop it out here soon. And Lots of stringing. Well, we'll see you guys as we pop this bale out. We're still planning, so happy planning.